Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling Moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Capricorn. This reading is for Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Cancer. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, what is the September message for Cancer? Hi, Cancer. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Thank you for all the support, attention you give. I appreciate the encouragement. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday here. Mm. Stepping out of your comfort zone. The North Node confidence is the key to success. New Moon in Leo. Okay, anything else for Cancer? Yes, there is. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable. Mm -hmm. You're a cardinal sign. Hmm. Spirit saying in September, be mutable. Go with the tide, you know, the moon which is what I'm all about. I understand the importance of the moon in terms of changing our emotions and feelings second by second. Mm -hmm. Energy can change at any second. That's why it's hard to predict the future, but you know, until you obtain what you want, until the future brings you what you're manifesting, you have to focus on that. You have to focus on that to draw it in. But right now, Cancer, you may feel like you're being pulled. Um, like <sighs> some of you feel like nothing is going your way. Mm. That's because maybe the way you're going is not the right way. Hmm. Yeah. You're being pulled in another direction. You know, the waxing gibbous moon is about redirection. So, Cancer, you could be being redirected at this time. Maybe you're uncomfortable. You are very cardinal, and, and this is a time of being mutable, right? Sometimes we have to just forge a new path without knowing everything. Mm -hmm. That's why confidence is your key. Just be confident that you're being led on a new venture, a new adventure. It's like this is going to add to you, make you more successful. Hmm. I see that the first part of September makes you feel uncomfortable. It does. Um, you know, that's a time for you to um, plan, review, take stock of Cancer September. Tell me more, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not much it should happen. The first half of September, we're in retrograde. Yeah, see? You have this hermit energy. You're in a state of solitude planning. Um, you like planning, too. You, do, you like to be strategic. You have a way of doing things. And cardinal, you kind of follow the book. You do. So, But Spirit is saying sometimes... You have to be able to step out of what you're comfortable with. Yes, sometimes we get too comfortable with the wrong thing. Okay, Spirit saying that too. He's telling me just put the cards down because I tend to run my mouth and yes, I need some cards. But you open up with the Hermit of Virgo, could be involved, a Leo. Uh, Aries, Sag, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Heavy Aquarius, Scorpio. I don't know why I'm hearing somebody could be judgmental, judging. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Eight of Swords is at the center of the reading. So this is a, about somebody being caught and entrapped in their thoughts. Imprisoned. Somebody being imprisoned. Somebody made to stay in an encasement. Um, somebody stuck. I don't know. Somebody entrapped. It can be self-imposed. It can also be imposed upon Ooh, it's not a good feeling, though, because it's like only enough room. You know, they're like in a tomb or something in a encasement, right? Mm -hmm. But it's really their mind, their thoughts. Our thoughts control everything. So somebody, Cancer, comes into you, come into this reading with a need for solitude, in solitude, a self-imposed solitude, or an imposed by others, some type of situation. You're alone, right? And, and you're in a state, you're prepared to do something different, okay? I see you prepared to go with the tide. Um, you're not being stone face or, you know, you realize maybe it's a time of change. Maybe you should change. Maybe you need to do something different. Take some different action. The Prince of Wands co comes alive. It's like they want to go on an adventure. You know, they don't want to be concerned with, it's a prince, it's a page. They don't want to be concerned with responsibility or things of the past. So that's good. You're coming out of your comfort zones. Whatever you were comfortable with, you're ready to consider doing something else. Mm. Spirit says confidence is what's going to make you successful starting in September, right? Be mutable. Go with the wind. New things are happening, though. I see that. This is past energy. You still realize that something new, something different um, is possible. And it's that kind of thinking that brings this Ace of Pentacles. Mm foundational change you know you are blessed beyond measure cancer you are the sign of travel um you are maybe some of you are getting a car some of you are remembering your first car mm. some of you are dealing with memory I don't, tell me how some of you, uh, either through somebody close, somehow, uh, memory issues, mental health is on the table during September, okay? Family, roots, hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are definitely also being called, some of you, in service. Mm -hmm. Everything that we do as part of our calling, everything you do in life pretty much is to serve, to serve another. Mm -hmm. It's to help somebody else, okay? So this is a time of change for you. You know, it's the fall, the seasons are changing, although the fall comes in the second half of September, it's going to be better second half but you're being pulled right now made to feel uncomfortable in preparation of the second half of September yeah your confidence increases the second half of September right maybe you start to um, invest less in your thoughts right and focus more on your healing. You know, I think I feel like you're you're coming out of your thoughts and focusing more on where you're headed. Right. So in other words, you have a choice on how you think here, Cancer. You can choose productive thoughts or you can stay caught up in your thoughts and but it's a choice 
It's a choice. And because you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Star versus the Three of Swords, these are your choices. You can think about a new direction, mm -hmm. a new calling, a new path, a new Something new, something you can't even, you've never envisioned this before. It's never happened. It's brand spanking new, um, either in terms of a relationship or either in terms of a job, hobby. Um, some of you are leaving corporate America and actually finding uh, solace in picking up something you used to do or exploring something you've always wanted to do. Yes, confidence is the key to your success. Leo, you know, show your strength in that area. Be confident, be courageous. Step into what your intuition is telling you. Let those thoughts win. Those are the Ace of Pentacles and the Star Cancer, you have a choice. You know, happiness is a choice. You choose what you're going to embrace, what you're going to think upon. Your thoughts. This is telling you how important your thoughts are in September, the Eight of Swords. They control everything, the past, the current, and the future. They control what happens in your life. You can have the Ace of Pentacles and the Star, or you can have the Three of Swords, all based on your thoughts, right? Woo, I love this. <laughs> okay, Spirit, can we qualify? Thank you. Oh, Lord. There are things you don't know, you can't see. But now, now, mm, yeah, this is whether or not you're going to allow the transformation, allow your thoughts to change, or whether you're going to hold on to what you don't know. You have two cards, the moon reverse as well as death reverse. That's that retrograde energy. But in the case of the moon being reversed, you learn something. By the time retrograde ends, you've learned something, right? You've learned to follow your gut, intuition, especially when it's leading you towards something you um, want, something you may want to try, someone you may want to be with. You've always thought of being with them, but you couldn't, but now you can. Now you can. And and doing something that, you know, may have been restricted for a good reason in the past, but it's not restricted now. You know, maybe you lost that job and maybe now you have an opportunity to paint, to sing, to do something that you've always wanted to do, be a YouTuber. <laughs> hey, now is an opportunity. Now it's time to answer that calling, especially if you're being called, actually called by Holy Spirit. Now's the time to answer that calling. Now is the time, okay? You have one, two, three, four, five major arcanas here, Cancer. Okay, Spirit is definitely calling you. Don't resist. Don't hold back. This is not the time. You're being pulled out of your comfort zone because little do you know that what you're being called to do is going to bring you the most joy and happiness. <laughs> Didn't I say that? And you get the Ten of Cups. Come on. You're calling a line so much with you that you're going to kick yourself for not answering it sooner. OMG. Yeah. Just step into it confidently. Know anything that spirit has for you, it's going to end successfully. It is success. He doesn't ask you to do anything that he doesn't prepare you to win at. Mm -mm. Anything that spirit wants to happen, he always wins. Even when it looks like it may not end in favor before it ends, it's going to end just the way Spirit wants it. And he always wins. There is no failure. 
There is no failure in God. None. So, you know, whatever you're feeling uncomfortable about, you're unsure about, you're holding on to, you know, you have a glimpse of it, an inkling, but maybe your thoughts are keeping you back. Spirit is saying, let go, Father of Swords. He knows when to let go, when to cut away negative thoughts that are binding, keeping you stationary. Yes, it's the second half of... September, in which this whole stationary energy needs to be lifted, cut away, cut away, because you have something that's going to bring you happiness, joy, but it's a choice. Everything in life is a choice, right? Look at this, Father of Pentacles, a lot of masculine energy, taking action, being dominant, attracting, right? being resourceful. Mm. This, you know, the emperor, the empress is made up of all of the kings. The emperor is all of the kings and the empress is all of the queens. And uh, you have kings and queens showing up here. This is about growth. You know, kings and queens, the emperor, the empress, they're mature energies, all right? They do what they have to do, not what they want to do. They are constantly growing. They understand that the only time that you're not growing is when you're dead, right? These are energies that are present. They deal in reality. They're mutable. They're able to change as needed, right? That's just how God is. It's like you can't box them in. Well, the king, the queen, the empress who's led by God is not an energy that can be boxed in. And, you know, you choose to think on the ace of pentacles and the star, your wish fulfillment, your healing, um, you obtaining exactly what it is that you want realizing your value, your worth, that you're worthy of it, working towards it, by being busy for yourself, being the father of pentacles, you know, always paying attention to your pentacles, your foundation, how you are going to grow it, how you're going to share it, being aware of when you need to share and with whom. Mm. Yeah, transformation, transformation, changing your thoughts, allows for transformation the second half tell me in love for cancer specifically spirit tell me in love for cancer in september love you'll be focused on yourself yeah i was kind of feeling that you have the star and that is aligned with focusing on you realizing your value your worth that you're a star healing any shadow that may exist in any form also just loving you liking you you know we're responsible for our own happiness finding out what makes you happy again Doing what makes you happy. That's what's going to help you attract your empress, your emperor. Okay? Healing. So, in other words, September is definitely all about healing for you. Where love is concerned. Focusing on you. You're the most valuable person in September. It all starts with you. Focusing on you, being confident about you, what you're doing, where you're headed, how you're going to succeed. Mm. And you know, when you are focused on you, <laughs> cancer, when you are focused on you, what happens? Bam! New love. Because you're not paying love any attention. You're loving you. To When you are at that state, boom. New love walks right in, walks right in the door. A new person captures your attention, your feelings. Oh, yeah. Not only are they new, but they're the one. <laughs> they are the one, okay? 
Just because you're focusing on you, you're confident, you you know what makes you happy, right? You're open to doing something different and you're forging a new path. You got it going on, Cancer. And because you're focused on you, in they walk. They walk right in. Steal your heart. I know they steal your heart. I know they steal your heart. They stole it. Bam. Mm -hmm. See, don't be playing with nature, Mother Nature here. They walk right in. Captivate your attention. Stir your feelings. Not only that, they stir your feelings. I mean, yeah. Yes, they walk right in. They stir your feelings. Why? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You're all I've ever wanted. This is what they tell you. You're all I've ever wanted. <laughs> they don't even know what to say. They don't know what to say. Mm, I, oh, yeah, but this is a real union. Oh, I'm telling you, this card was in the deck. It wasn't supposed to, so I was trying to pull it out. But Spirit said, that's it. You two, uh, yeah, that's the one. And it looks like you two go into union. I'm sure there's much more to this story, Cancer. Next time, or send me an email. And until the next moon phase, namaste.